really want to play Dokkan in VR right now, but I don't have a headset. Where could I get my hands on one? Whoa, hey guy. Perfect! Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with another Dokkan Battle video and what? Real life? <laughs> Touch grass? That's crazy bro. We are back for another Dokkan Battle video in VR. I know I have been teasing this video for a long time and ever since I made the first VR video way back a couple years ago now, which is pretty crazy to think. Uh, I have always wanted to do a sequel to this, so I figured not just as this video was originally going to be a 10k subscriber special for the Dokkan Assets channel, also as a way to help the DBZ Assets channel grow, we're doing a VR video, and not just that, we're also going to be doing obviously a bunch of anniversary stuff, so what better time to indulge in some VR Dokkan than the anniversary, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into it here. Alright gamers, we are in VR, back on Dokkan Battle. I am so happy to be back here. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> it looks so cool to be playing this in VR. So today, we have a checklist of a couple of things that we're going to do. We're going to play the brand new Dokkan events for Goku and Vegeta, and you guessed it, Goku and Vegeta. We're going to see a bunch of different super attacks from the new units, and we're actually going to use some psychic. We're going to be using some of the 6th anniversary characters, mainly these two who live in right here, and the Super Saiyan 4s. Um, this is the team that we'll rock for this one, and then we'll switch it up um, once we go to the next event here. Alright. Oh, it feels so good to be back playing here. By the way, Hold on, before I even explain anything. <laughs> it looks so cool! <sighs> you can see, by the way, a little bit of this weird square right here. That's because since we are in this, like, goofy space here in VR, right? This is basically just the Oculus Rift's home sort of, like, space. We are going to be seeing a little bit of the background because for some reason, I'm not sure exactly why it works this way, um, but it isn't like fully, or it's not fully transparent, obviously, but it's also not like you can't see through the back at all. For some reason, it just has a little bit of transparency for the desktop mode of and the way that we're getting this to work right now. So, unfortunately, you're just going to have to deal with seeing the background a little bit here, but that's okay. As long as we get to play the game and see this amazing super attack, oh my gosh. That looks so cool, bro. I really wish everybody could be able to see this and see this in the headset as well. Because, for some reason, the way that the Oculus displays this is like, it almost looks like this part of Goku's hair is like popping out a little bit, almost. It's really cool. It's got this very weird 3D effect. Ooh! Look at the boy! So cool, dude. And like, it's so weird because obviously, since you usually play this game in like a, you know, smaller screen, it's always interesting seeing the game in like this sort of well, rather large fashion, I guess you would say, because it's just, you're not used to it. And having to look up and down the screen to see the games and tags and stuff like that is certainly not something that you're used to. Like, oh, okay, how much HP does he have left? Let's look down here. Okay, what orbs do we need to select? We go back to the build the screen. It's such a cool experience. Oh, Goku, show me that super. Let's go. That looks fantastic. Now, obviously, too, in playing it in this very big format, right? Um, oh, that's well key. You can also tell a lot of the assets that are higher quality and a lot of the ones that are lower quality because, of course, you're never usually holding your phone screen this close to your face, right? 
But of course, when it's like this, right, you can see every detail of everything here, which is super cool. Unfortunately, when it comes to these stages right now, fortunately, because it's really cool, by the way, really cool, also these transformations. Ah! Um, what's really unfortunate for filming these events right now is they play Blizzard and Dundun Kuriko, respectively, for the gods and the Super Saiyan Force. So, of course, we can't have that in the video because we'll get copyright strikes immediately. <laughs> But this is so sick, seeing these animations so big like this. Oh man, we're gonna do them all, even though literally they will take them all out. We, we just want to see it all, right? We just want to see all these crazy animations. Kakuroto, you're the last person I expected to suggest using Vegeta. This is gonna be special, I can feel it. It is really weird, obviously I have my game audio in Japanese, but it is strange that in the English version, he doesn't do the Super Saiyan 4 voice, which is kind of weird, but what is what it is. Like a hell! So cool, bro. And speaking of Gogeta... So cool. This is one of my favorite active skills in the game, for sure. Oh, that looks so cool! Gogeta looks so nice as well. This is one of the, like, best-looking animations in the game. It also helps, I think, too, that a little bit of Dokkan's graininess also makes this animation feel a little bit more like one of those classic Dragon Ball animations, for sure. We are going to... We'll put Gogeta in the front, only because if we could get a counter off with him, that would be awesome to see that in VR. Because uh, that's a lot of attacks right there. So it would be really cool if we could actually get that to happen. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, I was going to say, that could probably be an ultra. Oh, perfect. That key drop is actually really nice. Unfortunately, not everybody's going to be able to super because this team is super powerful and no kind of events are pitiful in comparison to the power of these units. Yeah, 5 mil attack stat. That's insane. Oh, it looks so cool! Especially the part when Gogeta opens his arms like that. Unable to attack due to fear! Well, alright, I, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> so, uh, I guess they're too afraid to attack, but we'll still get to see this beautiful super attack in action. So cool, though. This looks amazing! Oh my gosh. Like, this is something that I wish that everybody who played Dokkan was able to experience, but... Like, it, it's such a weird thing to play Dokkan in VR in the first place, but I just wish that everybody had the opportunity to try the game like this, at least. Obviously, it's not optimal to play the game like this, because not only is set up to just record this video is pretty janky, but also the actual, like, way to play is a little bit janky as well, because, of course, it's not really meant for this format. Um, but it's still an experience that I recommend everybody try once and three points, since this is the second video. Alright, hopping into the event here. This bro is another time that I can definitely say, Hello Goku. Oh, the code looks so cool flying at you as well. It feels really creepy. This is one time where I really, really wish that Dokkan had HD sprites and card arts. Because when you're looking at the game this big and it's this close to your face, you can really tell. <laughs> you can really tell that some of these assets are a little bit yucky, if I do say so myself. They're definitely not the worst things in the world, for sure, right? It's definitely not the worst looking gaming experience that I've had, for sure. But it is a little bit crunchy, I ain't even gonna front with you. We're gonna put Vegito in the back so you can potentially get that dodge. Will Vegito counter this? No, doesn't look like it, that's unfortunate. Why are the bro? We're, we're just not gonna get a counter, apparently. <laughs> the sacrifices for playing in VR, that's okay. I had to bring Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, because he's so sick, bro. And I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Heroes. I just had to see a little bit of the VR, you know what I'm saying? Alright, the God Boy's coming through. This animation is so cool, dude. Oh, man. Bam. And it's so cool, too, because it almost looks like the numbers pop out again. I really wish that, like, you were able to better see what I'm seeing through the goggles because it's hard to like explain it and then you understand exactly what I mean because of course like you know it's not perfect in recording it you can't get the same experience as the headset of course um, 
but, you know, it is so cool seeing it with, like, not only just everything so close up, but obviously all these effects kind of look like they're popping out with the way that the Oculus displays things from a desktop. It's really interesting. Alright, well at least we'll get to see Gogeta's 12 key here in base if we don't get to see the blue, which looks really good. By the way, you could see there for sure, right? Keep an eye out for when Gogeta's over here on screen, right there. Look at how high quality he is compared <laughs> to the sprites. It's a crazy big difference. This is one part where they would definitely benefit from that. Bandai, please make the sprites HD. I'm begging you. They all... <laughs> The boys really said, no, 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 we're going to take them out. Look at the boys. Ooh! So cool, bro. They did such a good job with these animations. I, like, there are some older Dokkan animations that I take a look at, and I'm like, wow, those have honestly stood the test of time pretty well, like, since considering we're at this point, which is basically, like, the gold standard, right, of animation. But these animations are going to stand the test of time for a long, long time for Dokkan. Hello, gentlemen. Zoom around those bad boys. Ha, 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 ha. So sick, dude. So sick. Alright. Hit him with your key based super, not. <laughs> oh. This looks really cool. That section always reminds me of Gucci Giri, like the art style. So cool. Of course, the spirit sword looking very awesome. The additional super as well. Looks very, very minty fresh. So cool, dude. The Ejito Sword. It's like, I wish I had more to say right now, but oh my gosh. Just looking at this makes you feel awestruck. Oh, here it is! Here it is! Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, that looks cool. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, he took the bow. Let's go. That was sick. I actually did not expect him to, to kill. <laughs> so that's cool. All right, so we're here on the summoning screen. We're going to take a crack and a rotation on the God Boys and the Super Saiyan Force. Now, really all I need from this banner is a dupe of each of these bad boys. I will let you in on a little secret if you have made it this far in the video, which I hope you have and I hope you're enjoying. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying, of course. Thank you so much for your support. With this, it is a little bit of a shame because this video is actually our second time recording this because unfortunately the first recording of this got corrupted and one of our summons on the Super Saiyan 4 banner on our first time recording actually had a Zeno animation in it where we pulled the Super Saiyan 4. So, alright. Oh! I'm staring my. Okay, we have something good here, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way we pulled the Super Saiyan 4! <laughs> what is it with this game? And I say, oh yeah, I like this better, or I, I don't need this, I have this ring mode. And the game's like, okay, you can have what you don't desire. I don't... I was gonna say, don't know if we're gonna get that lucky again. But, um... Maybe? We'll have to see. Super Vegito on our first multi, okay. We are looking very, very good here. What is it gonna be? I... Baby? Okay, that's not what it's for. This could have been a god animation too, which is whack, since it's three. Okay. Bro, this is also, again, the part where the art... Please make it HD, bro, because I can see... Look at the pixels on Gohan's hair. Mmm, yummy! <laughs> okay. Is it gonna be in the last slot? Again? Okay, Wave Crew, of course! I couldn't not pull Wave Crew. How poetic, ladies and gentlemen. I had to pull the boy. Of course I had to pull the boy. Oh, man. Alright, what do we got here? Vegeta again. No gold text. What? I was hoping that he would stay base because I think Rainbow releases double. 
Crack Fantasy? I don't remember. Rainbow is always the one that in the modern summoning animations always gets me. Throws me for a loop. Alright, come on. This is the free multi, I believe, and we will do the ticket multi that we have because since, like I said, unfortunately this is our second round going reporting the video, um, we do have a ticket multi on each banner. Why not? Okay. I don't know if I have him rain- oh, we actually have the free one now. Okay, I thought we were already up to it. Yeah, I only have two copies of him, so that's pretty cool. Super Saiyan? Okay, okay, okay! This might be something, ladies and gentlemen. This just might be something. And long comment and hot as well. What do we got here? Oh, God. I'm hoping. I'm going to take this one slow. Oh, GT Vegeta. Okay. He is rainbowed on my global account from all those summons that I did for saving for literally a year. <laughs> I ended up rainbowing him, and I think I might have a duplicate and Goku actually now um, from summoning so much on his camera. Bunch of reasons, interesting. The Super Vegito is hype, but we need the payoff to be a little bit more hype than that, my boy. We need the payoff to be a little bit more hype than that. Alright. Alright, free multi. And then we will go ahead and do our ticket summons. Oh! Oh! I did not expect that! <laughs> It is always such a shocker when you get the Vegito animation when Vegeta isn't there. Okay, alright, I'm down for it. I'm absolutely down for it. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, bro. Hello, Ginyu. That's a funny one to get so close up to your face. Oh, I thought that was going to be a fake out. Okay, you know what? Even though this isn't the boys' boys, I think they are base dupe. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll take that. I was just going to say they're base dupes. I'm pretty sure that guy might only be base or one dupe. So that is actually not too bad of a pull. And a double LR multi is something you don't see every day. So that is a pretty good pull. We are going to do one more multi, one more multi summon session um, on these guys right here as well. Um, Blue Evo ooh, is rainbowed with a dupe for me from the other banner. So, okay, Fusion, let's go. Oh, wait, Vegito Blue. Okay, okay, okay. It might be going down, ladies and gentlemen. It might just be going down. Okay. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I am slowly on my way to rainbow a second copy of this guy because all those stones that I got, Frieza was easily the unit off the banner I ended up pulling the most. Oh, that went from so exciting to so disappointing. Again, not a bad pull. Frieza is fantastic, but just for me because I saved stones the whole year, right? I ended up pulling, I think, six copies of Frieza on the initial run through. And then in the footage that we lost, unfortunately, I ended up pulling another one, so now I have three extra copies of the boy. Base four? Oh, Super Saiyan, okay. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do with him either, because he stays full power freeze with the whole thing. Super Saiyan one? Is this going to be garbage or something? No, nope. okay. <laughs> We're skipping through this bad boy. Oh, Broly, okay. Well, that still is a featured unit. Unfortunately, he isn't the best. I wish he was a little bit better, but it's all right. Alright, next multi summon our free one, and then we have the tickets. Gohan and Krillin, interesting. What is with all this base form and tricking me, bro? Goku, if you're gonna stay base, do the double screen crack, bro. Okay, drums. Ah, uh, this is- Oh! Oh! Okay, excuse me! My bad! <laughs> they, um, I'm pretty sure only have one dupe in them, so that's actually a pretty good pull. And GT Goku, okay? I'm the wrong banner, but still. You know what? We're gonna break my superstition, and we're gonna do the free one on here. I always like looking at this dupe, because it's so weird that they're only one button. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do. Okay, that's a featured unit! Or, 
Wadi Da. Okay, I was gonna say or three unfeatured SSRs, but they said a Wadi Da, so that's featured. My heart is racing. Sixteen. Oh, I thought that was a fake out. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Unfortunately, that ain't the god boys, but I know for a fact he ain't Rainbow, so that is definitely not too bad of a boy. He is a pretty cool unit. You know? Alright, alright, Wuhan. Get your stinky face off the screen, brother. At least I will say, even though we didn't get the god boys in this session of three, right? We still did get three LRs from those four multis, so honestly, it could have been worse. <laughs> that is going to do it for today's video i want to thank you guys so much for watching it has been a absolute blast making this video and unfortunately a little bit of a hardship too considering this is our second go around but we got it done and i think it turned out good i had a fantastic time playing obviously anytime that i get the opportunity to play dokkan in vr it is always an enjoyable experience and if you guys like this video, I will definitely do another one. When? I'm not too sure, because this is obviously a video that's like, you do it once and you kind of let it simmer for a little bit, you know, and then people are like, hey, I want a little more. So let me know if you guys do want to see some more. We will figure something out. Um, maybe when Worldwide comes around or maybe in the future, maybe next anniversary. We'll see what happens. But I want to thank you guys all so much for watching and thank you so much for your support as well. I got to give a special shout out to my boy James who is the cameraman behind the camera as well. The person who is not only house that allowed me to use it for this video but of course his VR headset that makes this all happen. So thank you my boy. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic 7th anniversary. And I will see you all in the next one. Dokkan Assets out. Peace.